Let's be honest, I didn't see Uzi coming. Adesanya striking is outstanding, man. You might think the, the fight is over. He's able to come back from the dead. Uzi versus Joshua too. Um, let's be honest, I didn't see Uzi coming. Like, I didn't know who he was uh, before he beat Joshua, you know. I know that, uh, I think, as many of us, we all thought that Joshua gonna done with that very quick and then I was pretty shocked to see him so that's a very interesting fight because now he he get uh, Uzi get the attention now and he get the respect that goes with you know by proving uh, on the previous fight that he's legit you know Joshua is pretty good at comeback so you can watch him again uh, Andy Ruiz on the comeback you know like basically like when you pick on a fighter that you don't really know and then you get surprised <laughs> you go back and you get ready you know with all the elements that will help you to win the fight so even though uh Ozik is like he's still like legit and very clean very technical i will still go for joshua for the rematch oh adesanya all day long i mean um Whitaker, he has the same trick and Adesanya even uh, he bro broke it down Adesanya striking is outstanding man like when you look at this you never know what ha what's happening in the fight everything can happen in the fight but Adesanya win this he wins this fight nine times out of ten why versus Fury? Uh, Fury is good I mean doesn't matter who is fighting Fury you have to give him that credit, you know. He has fought people uh, as they were, uh, Deontay Wilder and managed like to win the fight. Even though like at some point you thought you might think the, the fight is over, the guy is able to come back from the dead and win the, win the fight. Fury is good. He, he knows how to deal with a guy like that. So I'll go for Fury. They fought twice and those two times was like a um, decision honestly sometimes i thought all the way uh, won the fight though i thought so i'm very excited to see the third uh, the third fight Bogdanovsky is very tough but max all the way is max all the way you better don't go against him don't bet against him because you're losing your money and that's what happened to me <laughs> but even though he lost twice, he's pretty good. His, his striking is outstanding, his speed and everything, his uh, endurance, you know, is very solid. I'm excited for Moreno and Figueredo. Unfortunately, he's the same card as me and he's the co-man. I won't really be able to watch that fight, but that fight is a hell of a fight. It's gonna be fun, you know. Like uh, I watched, I I watched the first fight. Uh, Wush, uh, Wush was uh, Figueredo. He won that fight, but that was a hell of a fight. And um, the second fight, uh, Moreno came out and uh, more prepared. And you could have like just look at him and not like this guy is not leaving the octagon today without the the, the win. But I think like uh, for Figueredo now. Uh, going out there, losing the title, losing the belt, is gonna come back very strong. So I'm very excited for that fight. Justin Gaethje, he's fighting the winner of um, of Poirier and Oliveira. He never fought Oliveira. You know, I'm excited to watch that fight. I'm Justin Gaethje fan all day long, man. Doesn't matter if he wins or loses. I'm watching his fight. I'm watching him fight. 